Hello, in this video, this is example two of the Gauss, Gaussian elimination method in which we will be reducing, or should I say, simplifying the system down to rho echelon form, rho echelon form, REF. So this problem of example two involves fractions. So what we want to do is clear the fractions, clear the fractions so that life can be much more e much easier. When solving the system, we want to clear the fractions so that we can have whole number coefficients in each of the terms. So we have one third x plus one fifth y is equal to seven. One sixth x minus two fifths y is equal to negative four. Our LCD, which is the least common denominator in this case, is 15. And so we multiply 15 to each of the terms. When we multiply 15 to each of the terms, we get 5x. Get 5x plus 3y is equal to 105, 105. So that's from multiplying 15 to each of the terms. Now. For this, for this equation, the LCD is going to be 30. So we multiply 30 to each of the terms here. And so we come up with 5x minus 12y is equal to 120, negative 120. So now what we want to do next is we want to write our new system as a two by three all minute matrix. So let's do that. So writing this again, we have five x plus three y is equal to one oh five. And again, five x minus twelve y is equal to one twenty. So, writing this as an augmented matrix, we have 5, 3, 105, this is 5, negative 12, negative 120. This is our 2 by 3 augmented matrix. Now, what we want to do is get this down into rho echelon form, meaning we want to zero at this position, which will allow this to be an upper triangular matrix. But what I always like is to have rho leading ones at the diagonals. That makes simplifying and finding your solution much more easier. So here, we have uh, 5 and 12. Sometimes, you, you know, when we, when we do uh, row echelon, when we, when we simplify the row echelon form, sometimes we just go ahead, you know, mathematicians just, you know, go ahead to and take negative 1 to row 1 and add it to row 2 to get the new row 2. Which still, this is going to be zero here in this position, but still you have uh, numbers other than one that are on the diagonal points. That's not saying that that's not in row echelon form, but there's still you know more work to do to try to, to get to the solution. So I always like to get pivoting points on the diagonals, which is row leading ones here and here. So the first thing I'm going to do to get a row leading 1 there is to divide row 1 by 5. Divide row 1 by 5 to get the new row 1. And showing you the work in between the solve matrices, we say, 5 over 5, 3 over 5, and 105 over 5, which will give you 1, 
3 over 5, and this becomes 21. So that's our new, our new row 1. So our new row 1, and we'll write it here, is going to be 1, 3 fifths, and 21. And then our second row will stay the same. Okay, so now, you know, we want to get a zero here in this position, right? So I'm going to take negative 5 to row 1, add it to row 2 to get the new row 2, right? So here we say negative 5. This is 1, 3 fifths. So this is going to be negative 5, this is going to be negative 3, and this is going to be negative 105. And we're going to add it to row 2, which is here, 5, negative 12, and negative 120. So here we get 0, negative 15, and negative 25. Okay, so that's our new row 2. So everybody understand so far what we have done. So what we'll do next is we want to clear this board. That, that is a 3, right? That's 2, that's 3. Make sure everybody understands that that's the three. Okay. Uh, we're going to clear the board and we're going to continue the problem so we'll have more room. So our new row two, let's write our matrix. One, three over five, 21. We have 0, negative 15, negative 225. We see this. Okay, so now, again, this is actually in row echelon form, but I like to get, what, what do you think I like to get there? I like to get a row leading one here, right? So let's take negative 15, uh, uh, let's take row, Two row two. Let's take row two and divide it by negative fifteen to get the new row two. So that'll be zero over negative fifteen. Negative fifteen over negative fifteen and negative two twenty five over negative fifteen. So that's going to be 0, 1, what else? 15. Okay. So this is our new, what, row 2. Our new row 2. Row 1 still stays the same. 0. 1, 15. So you see what I mean? So when we have our row leading ones, it makes it much more easy, easier to solve uh, the system because now we have a Y component that's already solved for. So now we'll convert this back to a system of equation, and this will be X. This will be X plus 3 fifths Y is equal to 21, and then y is equal to what? 15. So now we can substitute back substitution and substitute this back into the first equation here. So 
So this will be x plus 9 is equal to 21. So if we take negative 9 here and negative 9 there. So x will equal to what? 12. So our final answer is x is equal to 12. Y is equal to 15. And now as an order pair, it looks like this. 12, 15. The reason being, so if you actually graph both of these equations at its point of intersection, it will be the one solution, 12 and 15. Right? That will be the point, right, at the intersection, right? So this system is consistent, and the equations are independent. This concludes example two of the Gaussian elimination method.